back with my Kina here. Um, this today, I, what I wanted to work on, I, I filmed it once before. I filmed it with my phone, and it was it was tough to get tough to get good video, but I think it worked. It was a it was a week and a half ago now, um, and since that time, we've um, had some pretty good progress with some of her some of her in the field work. Um, I also have noticed that as her in the field work gets better, and I guess it's by, depends on whose definition is getting better, I suppose, but she's getting a lot more confident. Um, we might even film a little of that to end this today, but uh, just to show you, but she's really starting to stretch out. Uh, I've had her in the woods. I've had her around here. I've got a woods down the road that um, has a probably a six or seven year old Aspen cut. So it's regenerating pretty thick. Um, it's really, there's not many, there aren't any birds in there, but it looks like it could be birdie. And so I've been taking her in there um, just to get her used to moving through cover that is gonna be like what she's gonna move through. I've had some training sessions here a few weeks back up north, um, what would be considered, I suppose, spring training um, on some grouse and woodcock before April 15th. That's when we can't, we're not allowed to do it anymore on public land. We can still do it on private land, but, um, and I ran the following week, there was still snow on the ground um, when, when the 15th was there. And it's to protect nesting birds and I get all that. Um, but I took her on some private ground, which you can do whenever you want. Um, but with the idea of give her some opportunities to have some contacts some bird contacts this spring, you'll listen, you'll probably hear it in a podcast that I'm gonna talk about some of that because some of that has been really valuable for her, I think. Uh, she's not had many bird contacts other than introduction to a pigeon with a little positive pigeons several weeks ago now. But all this being said, she's building up a lot more confidence through maturity, age, experience. She's starting to run pretty big. So I don't, I think that it's time for me to pay a little bit closer attention to some of her work up close, uh, keep that sharp. Um, she has it. She has been doing pretty well with heel. Um, she, I take her for a walk a lot of times with just this slip lead for convenience sake. Um, I don't get anywhere near the results that I get with the adjustable leader. The adjustable leader's got a little more weight to it. Um, I started with her doing a little bit of off lead work, and so we're gonna. I'll show you that heel. Um, her her heel work is very good when you look at from a le loose lead perspective. I mean, this is more challenging ground. It's easier for her to do this on the concrete, but in the grass with the distractions and all that, it can be more challenging. Now, there she gets a little sloppy. I want her moving when I move. I want her stopping when I stop. I mean, it's no different than anywhere, any time else. So she's getting pretty darn good at that. But what I've noticed is her feet are not that precise. They've gotten kind of sloppy. You'll watch her feet as I turn into her. Not too awful bad there. Uh, little body language into her, gets her back into position. Remember, heel work is nothing more than being in heel position. She's in perfect heel position right now. So as I go nice and slow and help her, there. She's proven me really wrong. She's been pretty sloppy and she's been pretty jumpy. Um, kind of catching her out of position. Now there, was a really nice controlled turn. So you're not gonna see what I was hoping she would do. When I say jumpy, I mean, she almost like waits till I start to turn into her and she tries to catch up and she's real hoppy. She's real, real, um, just not smooth. I want her to be smooth. I want those hind feet moving. That's a little more what I was talking about. That's better. Good. There, good. She's working hard, she's trying. There's a nice, you can see when she's smooth, you can see when she's hoppy. You can see when she's smooth, you can see when she gets jumpy. Why am I picky about this stuff? Because I really believe that if I can't do it well here, I'll never be able to do it out there. And she's already showing me that. There's distractions, there's distance, there's all these things that create separation between me and her and then she gets a little bit on her own instead of with me and I need her with me. Um, and so I, I really feel like if we're gonna do this without the use of a collar, 
I think the collar helps allow you to bridge that gap and speed up and do all that stuff. But without the collar, what do you do? And I watched, I went to some grouse trials. I don't know if we've talked about this, but I watched dogs that to me, it was very clear that they knew if the collar was on, they knew if the collar was off. When the collar was off, you pretty much held on and hoped the dog came with you. And then there were some that I felt had a much better connection with the dog and worked much better with the dog. And I think you, for me personally, I'm gonna work much better with this dog if she's working with me without the need to have her have that understanding of, well, if I don't, there's a collar consequence. I want her to do it because she wants to do it. So that's why I'm picky about this. Now today, so I'm working on this stuff. We're working on getting this a lot better. It also is gonna help me with everything else I do with her that's not hunting related. She's just a more enjoyable dog to do this stuff with. Today what I wanna do is we're gonna do some scented tennis balls. So I got a little bottle of grouse scent. I was having a hard time getting her to what I would say engage the nose. Um, she was really running. She was bumping a lot of birds uh, just because she was covering a lot of ground. She was running really naturally, which is great. I think that's, you know, I think that's a very, that's not something we're training. She just does that. But she was running kind of just to run. And I don't know that she was getting a lot of connection between the idea of run and find birds. I think she was running and bumping into birds occasionally and having fun with it and chasing them around a little bit. But I think I want her to, I wanted her to start thinking there's actually something to look for. And when I say look for, not with my eyes, look for with my nose. So I did that drill with the tennis balls, uh, tried to film it as best I could. That night she pointed a snipe and I don't know that it was the reason. Um, could have been just a lot of things that we got to that point where she held a pretty darn nice point on a snipe that same night. Um, I've done this tennis ball thing once or twice now. I think I did it twice, filmed it the first time. So I'm just gonna take this grouse scent. Now I like a little bit fresher tennis ball so that it's got some of that, it's got some of that fuzzy stuff where it'll actually soak in. It's almost like a sponge. This is grouse scent. Hey, marketing wizard, this isn't a sales video. So I'm just putting this liquid scent on it. Soaking that up. And I have two of them, <laughs> I have three of them actually. Part of the reason is, is because I know she's not a great retriever quite yet. She retrieves inside under control really well. Um, but out here, she has a tendency to wanna, sometimes she doesn't wanna pick it up. Sometimes she'll wanna run off with it. Uh, but there's enough retrieve in her that I can get value out of this game. I can get value out of this drill. So I'll show you the process of what we do. I use the second, I'm using the second tennis ball for her to get her back. Uh, a lot of times she'll come back for the second tennis ball and I don't care, I, whatever I gotta do to get that retrieve. If you watch, our, we did a series with um, Cedar who was a, a pup that we trained, um, a golden retriever that we trained. I had to do it with two tennis balls with her to get her to come back to start out with. So it's just, that's just a technique I'm doing with her. I don't prefer to do it that way, but her retrieve, well, I'll do this with Blue, our lab pup who's 10 to 11, 12, 12 weeks old now, 13 weeks, I guess. And he won't need this trick. He won't need, he'll probably bring the tennis ball right back to me. So, but now what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it out. So I leave the adjustable leader collar on because I, A, I'm gonna have the ability to have some control, but I'm gonna be able to send her with it and she can carry it and she, she'll run with it and it's not gonna get in the way. And when she comes back, I can reach for her and I can just get a hold of it where I'm not trying to catch and grab the dog. I'm not trying to grab the ball. I just get a hold of it and I can let her kind of be back under control without her really even knowing it. But let's use this scented ball. There's a plane flying through, so I don't know if you can hear it or not, but this, that has her attention. Here, here, watch, watch. So the tennis ball doesn't matter when the, that's actually a helicopter that's gonna fly over. So I know what's happening, that's the, probably flight for life helicopter. It's gonna come right over us, it's gonna go to Green Bay. Um, 
I won't be able to get anything out of her. Not, not in these conditions. So let's use this as a good example for, or a good opportunity for her to take that tail out. See what happened to that tail? She hears that, that's pretty nerve wracking to her. It's no different than the truck used to be, the cars used to be, the four wheelers used to be. The other day I went down the road, whoa, whoa. The other day I went down the road with her, with the four wheeler, she ran right with me. So we've gotten better, oh no, 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 no. Come on, here, 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 whoa, whoa. So her woe is nothing more than a remote sit, asking her to stay for me. So while that helicopter flies over, we'll practice that. Get something out of it. Good. So this is a good drill right now for her that we didn't plan on, but for her to have to focus like this and stand still while she's uncomfortable, and she's clearly uncomfortable with that helicopter going by. Good. 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 What I'm not gonna do when she gets nervous like that is, I'm not gonna go in and coddle her. Not gonna go in there. I don't mind her being comfortable. I think she's gotta be comfortable in order to learn. So that's why we're not doing that drill right now because there's no way she's picking up anything positive when she's in that state of mind. But. There's no forcing her out of it either. So let's take advantage of it and work on something that she kind of knows how to do. She kind of knows this little steadiness. Good. Whoa. Good. So we're just getting a little extra something out of it. Good. Good. Haven't introduced her to the gun yet. I don't think it's gonna be any issue. Uh, we'll do it with a bird. We might even do it this weekend. We've got a workshop coming up that we might do it at. Good. You can see she's settling in already. She's still got that tail tucked, but I can see it in her, uh, uh. I can see it in her face. I can see it in everything else. She's relaxed a little bit. Good. Good. Let's start over. So I went and picked the tennis ball up. We're gonna start this over. No reason to turn it into a long memory for her. Good, heel, heel. Let's get her moving. Watch that tail. So when that tail comes out, it tells me what I need to know. And actually, let's slide down here. I like this little circle of cover even better. That one's pretty open. You can still see in there pretty good. This one's a little bit thicker. So I'll get that tennis ball out again. Watch. Makina, Makina, find it, find it. Good girl. Get that second one out. Good girl. Come on. Here, 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 here. Come on, come on. Come on. What's this? What's this? Good dog. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good little girl. Yeah. Here, 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 here. So. Whistle has a lot of power with her. You could see it there. Whistle pulled her to me. I held the tennis ball. She came to see it. She held onto the tennis ball really well. So I was very happy with that. But she, um, she did a really nice job there. She's excited about this game. That's fun. That's good. Covered her eyes that time. She couldn't see it, but she heard it. Makina, Makina. Find it, find it. Good girl, good girl. Good dog, that's a good dog. Good and beautiful little retrieve. Good girl, that's a good dog. Here, 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 here. Good, I'll give it back to her. Here, 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 good. Here, 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 here. No, no, no. Come on, let's go. That's a good girl. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, good girl, good girl, come on, that's a good dog. There, real happy with that. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Not in a big rush to steal it. Good, good. 
Now those two have been pretty easy for her to see. Here, 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 here. Haven't had to use a whole lot of nose on that one, on those two. Bring her around this time. Now, this time let's let's try to make it a little bit more of a nose work thing. So I'll take a little clot of dirt here. I'm gonna throw the clot of dirt. I'm not gonna throw it right on the tennis ball because I don't want the mark to be, take her to the ball. Watch, watch. Makina, Makina. Find it. Now it's nose. Now she's going to use the nose. When she gets in the area, I'm going to tell her to start hunting. Find it. 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 I'll, quiet. I'll be quiet when she goes away. She almost touched, she had to touch a little scent. You could see her body language there. So let her hunt the area that it's not. When she gets back downwind and acts like she's touching scent, I'm gonna give her a hunt command. Good, good. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Good girl. Oh, look what you got. Come on. Come on. Good girl. That's it. That's it. Oh, so nicely done. So nicely done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Like her excitement level right now. Here, here, here. Watch. Good. 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 Again, she doesn't see it go in. Give her another little ball of dirt. Watch, 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 watch. Makina. Makina. Good. Find it, find it, find it. You can see right away she's got nose on that. Good, find it. Good girl, oh, good dog. Good dog, come on. That's it, that's it, right here, here, here. Come on, come on, come on. That's a good girl, right here, ha, 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 here, 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 here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're hitting the point of boredom. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good, good. There's the spot, like we, we probably went a little farther. Good. Now, very simple drill. Done a little differently than my retrievers. Only that, you know, the, re the retreat, the hunt, it's a lot softer hunt for her. I don't think she has this natural want to dig it out game finding ability that my retrievers do. We know she doesn't have the natural desire for the retrieve nearly as much. Although, come here, come on. Although I thought that was just, just fine. I thought the retrieving was really nice actually. Um, we'll take out, we'll bring Blue out here and I'm gonna film him doing it as well. It'll be a very different look to this drill um, because of the dog. So, but the, the the value of it I don't think is going to be much different. I do think that there is, I saw the last two for sure, and it had to do with the way the wind was hitting them. The last two times she hunted that tennis ball out, and I'm just, she doesn't know what find it means yet. I'm trying to get, lay, overlay find it when she's in the, in the mode of using her nose. I'm trying to have her hear me say, find it, find it, find it, in the back of her head while she's smelling something that might be good and then realizes it is good, it's a tennis ball, bring it back. So. This this idea of trying to line all those things up sequence-wise. I think she definitely hit her nose on that scent a couple times there and was sucked to it. So 
if nothing else, like she didn't do it necessarily on command and that's fine. I don't know that with her, I'm so worried about her hunting on command. Uh, this is a drill that I want to use for a, a dead bird that we hunt, knock down and we want to hunt an area and hold an area with a dog and, and find that animal, find whatever it is that we got there. That's more my retriever thing. But what I think the value of taking that, this retriever type drill and giving it to her is, I do think that she's going, this thing I've got, this nose, is pretty powerful and it helps me, helps me with stuff. Because now when she's out working, my hope is that she's starting to connect the dots of process scent with my nose while I'm running the way I'm supposed to run, because she runs really well. So now it's run really well and smell while you're doing it. I think these are ways to, to bring that out. Birds will help as well, but she's seen a bunch of them. And I don't know that it's clicking quite yet. And I don't know that I'm worried about it. I'm, I'm not worried about it. But I'm wanna, I want to maximize every opportunity with a bird we have going forward. So if I can get her to accelerate the idea of use my nose to find good stuff and tie that to the idea of there's stuff out there to find, I got to run and find it and figure out my range. Those are all like little skills that, that are separated I think we can learn them separate and link them together. Um, no different than retrieving is broken down into lots of little steps. So this is a good way for me um, to try unlocking the nose a little bit. It's the reason we use a pigeon to do positive pigeons. I think it unlocks the idea of chase the bird. You know, ultimately, do I want her chasing birds? No, but before I can ask her to stop and be steady on a bird, she better really want to find the bird or why find the bird in the first place. And if, you, if you're steady, but you don't find birds, it really doesn't help. You gotta find birds first and then figure out how to be steady after that. So it's a good little session with her. I found, I think we will find some value in it. So I'm gonna take her, uh, let's put her up. I don't even wanna push it anymore after that. We probably went a little long with it as it was, so.